Hey guys, how is it going today? Welcome to Jungle Blends and I'm Eve for those who don't know me yet and today we're gonna make a really fun soap in my huge 10 pound slab mold. So today I feel like playing with colors a bit so I'm gonna combine some neons um, and some other colors and we're gonna do a hanger swirl and hopefully you will like the results. So, so here I have prepared my colors. Um, this is teal. This is a uh, grape ape, this is a uh, pink neon, and this is black oxide. Now this one here, uh, the yellow neon, I purchased on Amazon uh, against everyone's advice, <laughs> just because I have to test it for my own. So this will be a little bit of an experiment to see how it turns out. So let's make some soap All now. Right. So here I have my Oils already mixed and now I'm just going to pour my lye water into them. And the fragrance we're using today is called Bombshell Diamond. Um, I will list the company below for your reference because <laughs> I have really bad memory when it comes to these things. Um, so here I'm mixing the fragrance in and it's supposed to work really really well in cold process soap and not accelerate too much. So I didn't show you this on camera because my angle was wrong, <laughs> but uh, basically I poured off uh, an equal part in each color and the rest, as you can see here, I'm just mixing with some titanium dioxide to make it white. And that's gonna be my base. So that's what I'm gonna be pouring first into my big slab mold and then I'm gonna add the accent colors one by one. So I'm starting off with my neon yellow. The reason why I'm starting off with yellow is just I'm going from the lightest color to the darkest because I do not want to clean my stick blender in between colors. So to avoid you know contamination with for example say yellow and black I'm starting with the lightest one and then I work my way up until I reach the last one, which is black. So here's my teal. Beautiful color. Also bought from Amazon, by the way. <laughs> no regrets. And here is my neon pink. That one, I believe I got from Mad Micas. Very happy with it. A, very, a little bit goes a very long way. And here is Grape Ape, um, neon purple, also an amazing, amazing color. I'm yeah, totally in love with it. What I really love about neons is that you can make, obviously, very bright colors. That's what they're intended to do. But if you mix them with titanium dioxide, they make the most beautiful pastel colors. And here my last one, which is Black Oxide. And I'm kind of just pouring everything in quite randomly, as you can see. <laughs> um, this could be beautiful as a drop swirl if I left it like that. But today I decided to give it a tiny swirl with a hanger. So here we go. I'm not doing too much. Even though it seems like a lot, you will see at the end that the result is not super, super, super strong. Um, it's always like that with... You know, when you do a hanger swirl, you feel like you did too much, but in the end, it's not that much. And I purposefully left some leftover batter in each container so that I could decorate the top of my soap. And so here, I'm just kind of um, spritzing or like throwing all the leftovers on the surface and I have to say it looks pretty cool <laughs> I enjoyed doing that it was kind of like uh, making a painting of some sort it's amazing how much leftover one can find in a container at the end of soaping I don't know if that happens to you but every time I clean my containers I'm thinking oh my god I can't believe I left this much in my container <laughs> Okay guys, now I was gonna swirl this 
but I kind of like the look of it now, you know, it gives me like an 80s vibe, like all neon kind of like art um, type of thing, like an abstract painting or whatever. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. Maybe I can glitter it a little bit, just to give it some extra something, but not too much because I don't want to take away from the color scheme. enough and now I'm gonna spritz 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 with rubbing alcohol so we don't get soot ash on that beautiful top et voila and now we're gonna wait 24 hours to cut this baby okay hey guys so it's actually only four hours later um, basically I finished around 11 a.m. with this soap and now it's 3 p.m. and uh, Believe it or not, but it's completely hard and ready to unmold. So this just shows you that not all recipes and not all soaps um, have to wait 24 hours before they get unmolded. So here it is. Let me film this better. Sometimes it's the fragrance that also helps. And I think in this case, um, that's what happened. But that plays to our advantage because, you know, sometimes when you're very, very impatient like I am, it's nice to see the result before. All right, you guys, I'm just accelerating this um, so you don't get bored. <laughs> it was a really satisfying sound, though. Okay, I have to say I'm extremely pleased um, with the result. Can you see? It's beautiful and the hanger, like the hanger really did its job there. Like. Here's another one. Wow, this one is amazing. I love this one. I really love this one. All right, you guys, I'll bring you back once I've cut all of this, okay? For a final viewing. It's truly the perfect, uh, the perfect mix between a drop swirl and a hanger swirl. You see, it's not swirled too much. I'm glad I didn't go in more. Uh, and some of those drops are still perfectly intact. So I'm very, very happy with the result. What do you think? I hope you like it as well. It smells amazing. I wish I could show that on camera, but I can't. So this fragrance I will definitely use again. This is my first time using it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something. Maybe, maybe not. Um, the one thing that I wanted to comment on though is, and I don't know if this is the case with, uh, with other neon yellows. So I guess, you know, those who said don't buy an Amazon neon yellow were right. <laughs> um, it definitely came out paler than what it should be. I was expecting something much more flashy. So it didn't really uh, survive the saponification, but, um, I guess I'll just use it as a regular yellow and I'll have to buy the more expensive neon from a company like Nurture Soap or uh, Mad Micas or 
you know any other more reputable brands out there i will still post the brand in the comments below just so you know which one it is that i purchased so that you don't make the same mistake i made unless you want a plain yellow <laughs> I have to say though, I've had really good experiences with a particular brand that I've purchased off of Amazon and they're mainly um, pinks, blues and greens and it's this brand here, Dibble Dabble and honestly, I really absolutely can't complain, they're very cheap, I think, I can't remember if this 3.5 ounces for maybe $11 I think or, or 13 max, I don't remember but um, yeah. I've, I've almost purchased all their colors now and uh, top notch so yeah so that was it for today if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you want to be aware of the next video up being uploaded and uh, see you soon in the next soap making video bye